Hey everyone, if you're looking to create a drop down list in Excel, there are two main methods, and I'm going to show them both to you. The first method, we're going to use this what is your birth month question. So, say you're creating some kind of questionnaire, you want this question, and instead of having people type it in, you want a drop down list. For this method, what you're going to want to do is in a separate spot on this sheet or in another tab as we created, type out all 12 months of the year. So as you can see, we have January through December, and then we're going to go back to sheet one. And in this cell, C3, the answer to what is your birth month, we are going to click on data up at the top here. And then all the way on the right in this data tools group, we're going to select data validation and then select data validation one more time. And all we need to go to is the settings tab and we're going to allow a list we're going to choose from a list and then the source of our list if we click on this little up arrow here it will then ask us where this list is coming from we're going to go back to our months tab and highlight january through december then if we hit enter and okay you will now see a drop down list in this cell containing all the months from our list. So we can select an answer. And then another method you can use without typing out this separate list here, if we go back to sheet one, kind of a silly example, but what planet are you from? If we click in cell C4, go to data again, data tools and data validation, click on data validation one more time. We can in this allow box, select list once again but instead of highlighting a list that we already typed out in the source box, we are going to type out our answers. So say we type in Mercury and then we add a comma so that it knows we're creating a new option for this dropdown list. And then Venus, comma, Earth, comma, Mars. Then we hit OK. And this drop down list you see will have the four answers of what we just typed out. Now, as you might have seen, if you go back to data validation, there are other options you could pick um, based on numbers or time or whatnot. But for our purposes, mostly those two options, the list and the list that we type out are what you're going to want to use. And that basically covers what you would need to know for drop down lists. I hope it helps.